Kachuk, when you start the last two games of last year, played really well. How much of an impact did that have of your decision to bring him back? You know, I think it was that that was part of it, um, for sure. Um, just to be able to, you know, go out there and start and uh, have a positive impact. I think that was a, a big reason why I decided to come back. The other reason why I really decided to come back was the guys in the locker room. You know, and they'll always have a special place in my heart. And uh, same here is at the University of Tennessee. I mean, the school has done um, a lot for me, you know, throughout my entire life. So I think those two factors were really why I decided to come back. Ellard, you mentioned that you're one of the guys taking reps at left guard during this fall camp. Just what do you think it would take out of you during the fall camp to get over that position as a starter? Yeah, just uh, being consistent, uh, playing the way I typically play, um, especially in the run game um, and also the, the pass game, just being able to, you know, move people, but but also, you know, playing smart. And I think those two things are really going to help me win the job. Jack, I know uh, probably not a lot of this. You, um, you kind of verbalize, you know, kind of what you learned from him growing up. And, uh, yeah. Um, that, that's a tough question there. Um, now, he meant the world to me. And uh, just stuff he taught me about leadership and really the – proper way to treat people and then uh also just you know the game of football i mean especially at a young age um and you know i wish he could uh still be around so thank you so you mentioned why you decided to come back mm -hmm. um, maybe for your opportunities you're starting to get now um, you know, how challenging was it during that time that you could have come back uh you know, there there were some there's some tough times, but there were also some good times. I mean, it was you know, really just taking every opportunity that I could get and, and just trying to run with it and show what I could do. And um, you know, I mean, since I've been here, there's been a lot of you know exceptional people who have been in front of me. I mean, you know, you've got guys like Trey Smith and then Cade Mays, and then um, you know Spragan the past few years. And so, really, just. Every time I've gotten my opportunity, I felt like I've had to take it and, and run with it, and I feel like that's what I'm trying to do this fall game. How your relationship with the coaches involved? Did that make you like Ellerby? Or... That was great. Um, you know, Coach Ellerby and I have a great relationship. Uh, Coach Heupel and I also have a great relationship. I mean, you know, to, to speak volumes about Coach Heupel, I mean, when, you know, the day my grandfather died, um, he, you know, called – me and my family and, and and was just you know devastated that it happened and and really cares about me as well as my family and i mean he he also cares about everybody else on this team i mean he's the perfect guy you could have it as a head coach um the rotation is mm -hmm. something that lrb has talked a lot about especially yep. at that left guard position how much is that a message to this team that they do want that luxury to rotate guys this season yeah, I mean, you know, we've got a lot of depth there. Um, you know, we've had a lot of guys playing left guard. I mean, you know, myself included. You know, you've got Dane Davis. You've also got Andre Karik. Um, and then you have Sham Umarov. And then I'm sure even more guys could, you know, plug and play there. But um, it really just speaks to the, you know, how great this coaching staff is by getting guys ready for that position. And then um, also just how much depth we have. It's, it's a pretty good thing to see. Are you better, or is anybody better at a position like that when you're there for a long period of time in practice as opposed to like moving around? I mean, it honestly just depends. Um, yeah, I, I'd like to think that people can get more comfortable at certain spots. Um, you know, thankfully, I'm able to play both sides. And, and so I feel like that's, you know, one, been one of the best things that, that I've been able to do. I mean, last year I you know, played both right and left. And, and I'm sure this year I'll still have to play both too. So it, it, it's just a, it ends up being a point of preference, but at the same time, you've got to be ready for either one. Did y'all know the scenarios last year during the game of if this guy goes out, I go in? Or because, like, it, you can have a depth chart, but sometimes, like, Dane would go in for different positions. Yeah, I mean, you kind of do, just depend depending on, um, you know, what happens in practice. And that's usually a conversation you kind of have with Coach Ellerby. So. Are you getting reps at practice right now, both at left and right, or is it more? I am. I mean, I feel like my pass game has gotten better. I really do. Um, and then also my run blocking. Um, 
I, I feel like I'm able to open up a lot of space. And uh, I feel like I was, you know, doing a, a pretty good job of that in the bowl game and then also the Vanderbilt game. So um, but the, those two areas, I feel like I've gotten best at. What did the coaches, Omar. What did the coaches say to you after those two starts, like your, your end-of-the-year meetings about how you played in the game? Yeah, I mean, they, they were definitely positive about it. Um, they, they felt like I, I did a really good job of playing there and, um, you know, also just taking that opportunity. It was, you know, something that they were proud of me for doing. He is an inside guy. He's the toughest to block on that team. <laughs> We've got so many guys, man, uh, that, that, that are all so different. I mean, you know, during practice, like, if you watch, like, film or, or our games, you could not get two different D linemen than Elijah Simmons and then Omar, okay? So it's just like one play, you've got some guy who weighs about 340 and is just strong as an ox. And so you got to prepare for that. And then you got Omar who's quick as a cat. And then sometimes you'll even have James Pierce or, or, or Big O or, you know, any of those guys. I, I mean, I'm sure there's a ton of names I'm leaving out, but, but I mean, all those guys are tough to block. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.